US share markets made some very small gains overnight, effectively mainly coming through from the healthcare sector. However, there does seem to be some real concern over whether this global share market rally will be sustainable in the longer term. Investors are really getting concerned, especially into next year, and this is meaning that option pricing has increased significantly over the past few months. Options effectively give an insurance policy for big rises or big falls in equity markets, and these are very expensive at this present time. This is also reflected in some news out from the Federal Reserve last week, who said that they are also concerned about another US asset bubble. The interesting piece is that they have also suggested that they will do anything they can to avoid this and this may come through in policy changes. The New Zealand dollar has bumped around a little bit over the past 24 hours and is currently trading at just over 71 and a half against the US dollar. We may see some movement later on this week when the Reserve Bank of New Zealand makes their next official cash rate announcement. This is scheduled for Thursday and we do not expect to see any change from the current stance of 2.5%. However, the commentary will again be very important. At the last meeting, the Governor made some fairly dovish comments which has helped to take the sting out of the currency and interest rate markets over the past six weeks. It is very likely that we will see a continuation of these dovish comments. However, the housing market will again be a real problem for the Reserve Bank, which it has been increasing significantly over the past few months. This is one reason why we continue to see an increase in the official cash rate for April of next year. Here in New Zealand, local lamb schedule prices have started falling back just slightly as supply starts to come on board. In some of our overseas markets, especially in the UK, it does seem like prices are holding on although there will be some competition from other meat protein products such as chicken and pork and these will be really competing for lamb in the supermarket basket. Supply is down in Europe and this will be positive for us here in New Zealand. However, the currency continues to be a real thorn in the side for the lamb industry. As supply does come on board, which we are now starting to see, it is likely that we will see a continuation of these easing schedule prices.